Hi guys. Uh, in today's discussion, I'm going to discuss how to calculate the precision problem using some of your digit method. <clears throat> so, bali dito, uh, meron tayong problem. So, a man purchased for 100,000 pesos with an estimated useful life of 10 years. Okay. After which, it will be sold for 20,000. So, find the book value at the end of the third year using the SYDM. So, first, pag meron tayong mga problem, pinakauna talaga nating titignan ano yung tinatanong sa problem, no? para may guided tayo, no? or may map tayo in, in calculating problems. No? So, sabi niya, ano daw yung book value? At the end of third year. So, corresponding to third year. So, probably, that is B13. Okay? So, may mga book value, eh, no? Alam natin, depreciation ta, na? So, next natin titignan, ano yung, ano yung type ng depreciation niya, na? No? So, sinabi niya, using SYDM, na? No? So, some of your digit method yung gagamitin. No? Next natin titignan, is ano yung mga given sa problem, na? No? So, sabi dito, a month for cheese for 100,000. So, probably ito. This is the first cost. With an estimated useful life of 10 years, no? So, bali yan yung useful life, no? After which, it will be sold. So, pwede daw siyang ibenta ngayon. After main yung useful life niya. By 20,000. So, yan yung scrap. Scrap value or the salvage value. Okay. So, yun yung mga given. So, para masolve natin yung problem ito, uh, yung gagamitin ko is graphical solution. Okay? So, gawa lang tayo ng ng graph. So, meron tayong uh, y-axis. So, yung y-axis that corresponds to the cost while yung x-axis that corresponds to the years. Okay? Kasi yung useful life niya naka-years eh. So, dapat naka-years yung x-axis. No? So, bali at the start, zero. No? Then, at the end of its useful life, ito yung useful life niya, that is 10 years. Then, yung tinatanong niya, ano yung book value at the end of R term ba? So, yan yung R na, the third term. So, R is 3. Okay? So, project ko lang ito. Okay? So, sabi niya, yung first cost is 10,000. So, that could be the start, no? So, at time 0, ito yung first cost, which is 100 thousand. Then at the end of its useful life, pwedeng ibenta yung yung pinurchase niya in 20,000. So salvage value is 20,000. So since some sub, some of your digit method though, so probably yung graph niya parabolic na. So connect ko lang yan. So ganyan na. So gawa ko ng projected line dito. So, bali, yung, yung line na to, yung line na to, tsaka yung line na to, parallel, ha? So, ibig sabihin, 90 degrees, no? So, kung parallel yung dalawang line na to, ibig sabihin, yung mga height na to, yung mga height dito, they are equal, ha? Equal. Equal. So, ano naman yung mga ito? Okay? Sabihin ko yung kulay. So, yung distance dito, patungo dito, that is called as the DN, no? Or that is the total depreciation. So, that is the first cost minus the salvage value, no? Then, yung dito naman, this is DR, no? O, yan yung where R is 3. So, yan yung depreciation, uh, total depreciation of the end of third year. So, yung tawag naman dito, this is the book value at the end of third year. Okay? So, yun na. So, bayan ko lang. So, para masolve natin to, 
yung gagawin natin is uh, subdivide ko siya na no? hanggang 3 so bali gawa ko ng line for at the end of 1 year and gawa ko ng isang line dito at the end of second year okay so may mga drop yan eh ibig sabihin yung pagkabili mo na 100,000 after 1 year magda drop yung value nyan no? so yung tawag sa drop na yun that is depreciation charge okay so after 1 year magda drop yung value nya so ito yan no? ito yung i-drop nya from first cost ha? so magda drop sya ngayon so ito na yung book value nya diba? at the end of of 1 year no? so yung tawag dito that is D1 depreciation charge okay so yun D that is called as the depreciation charge okay so by the next so ito na ngayon yan no? so magda drop ulit yan no? magda drop ulit yan that is dito okay so andito na siya ayun magda drop ulit yan so ito na yan no? that is D3 so yan yung depreciation at the end of third year pero kung hahanapin mo yung total depreciation so makikita natin dito na no? itong line na to itong line na to yung line na to di ba? yung line na to tsaka yung line na to tsaka yung line na to equal sa equal sa lahat ng D3 no? so base dyan mas, makikita natin na yung D3 is just D1 plus D2 plus D3 okay so since sinabi ko kanina yung mga yung dalawang line na to di ba? yung line na to yan tsaka yung line na to tsaka yung x axis parallel so ibig sabihin yung yung distance na to yung ito that is the first cost right no? so that is the first cost is equal sa distance na to ano ya is equal sa distance na to which is that is depreciation at the end of third year and the book value at the end of third year and that is equal to this one Yeah. So, pero okay na ako dito So, ganyan ha? So, masasolve na natin yung problem So, yung kailangan lang Yung tinatanong ito man ha? Ito yung tinatanong So, kung masolve ko to, ito given na Given to Pero yung D3 unknown pa Pero masasolve mo yan kung makukuha mo to So, alam natin yung Yung depreciation charge is my formula yan, no? For, for sum of years digit method, no? And that is, and that is, uh, ilan? Uh, N minus R plus 1 divided by 1 plus 2 plus 3 and so on hanggang useful life times the total depreciation. So, substitute lang natin yung mga values. Wala na. Okay na tayo, no? So, this is dr. Ha? So, at r equals 1. So, yung n, just pull life, alam natin, 10 years, ha? So, we have... Uh, so, we have 10 years minus... Minus r, which is 1, plus 1, all over 1 plus 2 plus 3 until... 10 years, then the first cost is 100,000 minus salvage value na 20,000. So, therefore, yung D1 natin is equal to 145.445.45. So, for D2, yun na, no? So, ulit, useful life. Minus R, which is yun 2. Plus 1, all over. 1 plus 2 plus 3. Until useful life is equal to the first cost. Minus the salvage value. Therefore, we have DR and that is equal to 13090.90909. Okay. Ah, no, no. This is D2. Then, for D3, so we have 
10 minus r is 3 plus 1 all over 1 plus 2 plus 3 until uh, mm -hmm. until useful life then we have 100,000 minus the salvage value which is uh, we have 100,000 minus 20,000 so d3 is equal to 11636.5 36. Okay? So, masasolve na natin yung total deposition. That is, D1 plus D2 plus D3. And that is equal to 11636.36 plus 13090.90 plus 145 45.45 45 and that is equal to 39 272.71909 91 no. So, masold na natin ngayon yung yung tinatanong which is the book value at the end of third year. So, base yan dito sa formula. Di ba? Ito yung base yan dito. No? So, ngayon, meron tayong first cost minus the depreciation charge at the end of third year. No? Uh, total depreciation at the end of third year. So, therefore, this will be 100,000 Minus 39272.71909. So therefore, we have 60,727.27. So yun na yung book value at the end of third year. So I think that's it. Thank you.